welcome D.L. Hall back to the mix. The last time out at St. Louis, that was back on April 20th. Since that time, three different rehab stints down in the minor leagues, 13 starts in all. And a cold strike three. There's a nasty curveball. That's a good way to get the day started. Two on, two out, first inning. Just getting started. The two strike pitch swung on and missed. And Hall with a pump of the fist. Sanchez secures the K at first base. And that's a good start and a good return for D.L. Hall. For the Reds, Nick Lodolo. The changeup has become a weapon for Lodolo, but the slider has gotten better and better over the last several starts. The one two pitch, beautiful backdoor breaking ball, strike three, call to the knees. Great pitch there from Lodolo. And had the first hit of the game. Lines out into left field. Sanchez with a bullet with two outs. Sanchez will get a head start at first base. 3 2 2 outs. Hard ground ball, fair, great backhand, Marte, long throw, oh, he got oh, him. Oh. Boy, he has come to the party, Noel V. Marte. All that fielding work, he has put it on the line. Lead man on here is Noel V. Marte, made that great play to save a run, and a swing and a miss, actually a foul tip into the middle of Sanchez. That'll be a strikeout on the slider from Hall. Santiago Espinal. And a swing at him is Hall with the changeup. Four K's in the first two innings for D.L. Hall. The Brewers second inning scoreless here at American Family Field. Joey Ortiz the batter with a runner at first. Runner goes swinging a fly ball down the left field line. Long run steer. Running out of room. Gone. A two run homer for Joey Ortiz and the Brewers strike first. His eighth home run of the year and his first since June 25th. 2 0 Milwaukee on the two run blast. And Joey Ortiz and D.L. Hall, the two pieces that came to the Brewers in the trade with the Orioles, on display today as Hall picks up the strikeout. The 1 2. And it's in there. A called strike three. Fastball. D.L. Hall dialed in on that inside corner. And his sixth strikeout already as Fairchild draws the walk. First two have reached. As France, a swing and a miss, he strikes out on a good fastball from Hall. First out of the inning. That's a swing and a miss. Sanchez blocks it, and that'll be a strikeout for D.L. Hall. That is a career best. We're in the fourth inning. The pitch runs inside and hits T.J. Friedel. Now the Reds will have the bases loaded. And that'll get the number nine hitter, Santiago Espinal, to the plate. And a little soft liner is going to fall in center field to base hit. In to score is Steer. Fairchild is in as well. Now a runner hung up. And the Brewers get the tag on Friedel to end the inning. But two runs come in on a two out, two RBI single by Santiago Espinal, and that ties the game. Off the bat of Joey Ortiz. Reds just score two as Adamas rolls on the first one. It goes right between the legs of De La Cruz. Wow. Well, De La Cruz has had his troubles defensively this year. 23 errors he's made. If you're on the mound, you need him to make the routine play. Right field, Fairchild nice on the slide. Boy, he has gotten great on coming in on the ball, has he not? That is outstanding. 6-3 on the put out. Now it's Ellie De La Cruz. And a swing and a miss. The combio. Hall gets a beautiful changeup off that time. De La Cruz in swing mode, nowhere close to it. Strikeout number nine. Every strikeout is a new career best. Stevenson is one out of two. Oh. Stevenson drives deep right. Sal Freelick way back. And that is gone. Untied by Tyler Stevenson. A go ahead solo shot as his power surge continues. A career high 15 on the year. It's 3 2 Reds. So the Reds strike again with two outs. All three of their runs have come with two outs. Well, you know he's eager to try to finish five innings here. High pitch counts in the first and the fourth. And he lost him. He is laboring to try to get to the finish line. And Pat Murphy doesn't want to take any more chances here. So it'll be 92 pitches in his comeback to the big leagues. A career high nine strikeouts. He will exit with the Brewers down 3-2. But it's his comeback start. Brewers are glad to have him back, and it gives you a lot of reason for hope for the rest of the year. Welcome back, D.L. Hall, with the lefty on lefty matchup, draws the walk. 
Monasterio strikes out a slow curveball from Lodolo and there is out number one getting Churio up to speed Freelich takes off Churio a swing and a miss the throw hits the bat he's got to go back yeah. Churio's out and Freelich is, is out how about that or if he wants an explanation but no real argument here no, that's something you don't see a whole lot of he flails it around after striking out and because of the interference Sal Freelich is called out I mean if you're Tyler Stevenson that was the wise thing he's got no chance to throw out Freelich that'll end the inning and Gary Sanchez draws the walk that's what the Brewers needed right there Sanchez on base for the second time and now the go ahead run will come to the plate Contreras lines one in the gap left center Sanchez a slow runner on his way to third he'll be held there and it'll be a double for Contreras just about anybody else and this game would be tied but a double by Contreras and now the Brewers are set up second and third one away the Brewers are down three to two but an opportunity in front of them second and third one away Adamas at the plate and Buck Farmer on the mound and Adamas in the left field sinking fast it's down Sanchez has got to go Sanchez will score he went back to tag Sanchez scores the tying run Willie Adamas delivers again and we're all even at three still just one out second and third one away Perkins a bouncer up the middle gloved throw to the plate and it's going to be in time to get Contreras now two outs and here's Joey Ortiz Ortiz a two run homer today bounce left side Marte tough play on the run he got him boy with that serious threat from the Brewers they settle for just the one Willie Adamas delivers the game tying run it's going to be Joe Ross and he'll pick it up in a 3 3 game in the seventh and a little flare in the right that's going to fall a couple of ducks for Espinal today but he's two out of three and so now the base is loaded one out and Spencer Steer the batter Steer lifts to left Churio going back going back hops in front of the wall bumps into the fence Espinal tag and score De La Cruz tag claims third a tie breaking sack fly from Spencer Steer he's got 69 ribbies and the Reds have a 4 3 lead so the Brewers have the door open here they have the tying run on the go ahead run coming up Jackson Churio a hot hitter at the plate Churio on the ground Espinal flips and De La Cruz completes the double play inning over just like that. Potential tying run standing at first base. William Contreras hits with the tying run standing at first base. On the ground, got a chance for two here. De La Cruz to Espinal over the first in time for a double play, and that'll end the inning. Back to back innings, the Brewers with inning ending double plays, and I think Cuzzy just launched somebody out of here. Yeah, just threw out William Contreras. He just kind of waved him off. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't much, but. Phil Cousy was watching him all the way, and as soon as Contreras did that, Phil yeah. Cousy threw him yeah. out. A 4-3 edge for the Reds. Alexis Diaz is in. And he's down on three pitches. All fastballs, never saw a breaking ball. Down he goes. Mitchell strikes out. Two Ks to start this ninth inning. Here's Joey Ortiz. Last hope for the Brewers. Poked and caught by Santiago Espinal. Diaz retires all three in order. Reds avoid the sweep. They best the Brewers by one run, four to three. 